Okay, our next step is to trim the rocket for glide. Um, for this, you're going to need a burnt out rocket motor. Um, and if you don't have one, you're going to have to fly something else to get a burnt out rocket motor because you need the weight of the motor for the trimming. Um, you're going to slide that motor in all the way until it hits that engine block. And you're going to take a piece of tape and I like my tape to go around just one time around the perimeter. And um, the way I do it is I, I put it on the back and then bring it forward. And the reason I do this, instead of laying it this way and going around that way, is when you're done with flying the rocket, the end of the tape is right there on top, um, which makes it easy to get off. And then you want to really crank down on that um, tape to make sure that it can't move. Um, the next thing you'll do is you'll put your rubber band on and if you look at the bottom of the glider um, there's the two hooks. There's one here on the slide box and then one here on the, the bottom of the nose and you'll just stick that uh, rubber band and there's some extra rubber bands in the kit in case you lose it. It's a number 16 size which is a common size that you can find at any um, office supply store. Um, and the reason for the, putting the rubber band on is that you want to make sure that wing stays forward. Um, and you can test it. And uh, it's sliding pretty good. And nothing breaks off, you're good. Uh, and it shouldn't break off because the way that we built it here is, is fine. Um, there is some clay to trim it, uh, which will involve going outdoors to actually throw it. Um, to throw it, you'll, you'll grab it, you'll put your index finger behind the wing. If you're right-handed, grab underneath. And, and then we're going to throw it like this. Um, and your first throw is to, just to see if, if the rocket wants to nosedive or, or pull up too high. Um, what I've found on the gliders is um, that there's very little weight needed to trim these. Um, on the last one that I built and flew, I didn't have to trim it at all. It was, it was trim right from the get-go. But like any glider, you might have to trim it. So um, there is a lot of information on trimming gliders on the web, on the internet. Um, I've written an article. It's in our technical, no, it's in our newsletter section on how to trim gliders. Um, but I'll give you, a, I'll go outside and I'll give you a little, a small tutorial on how to trim. Um, so that is um, trimming, um, and then uh, later on we'll go ahead and prep it for flight.